Hello, everybody. We, uh, it looks like we're starting just a little bit late. Divine Child already on the board, one nothing, leading Royal Oak in our uh, round one playoffs for Rocket League Tournament Fall 2020. This is Denver, and I'm joined once again by Bruno. Hello. And it looks like Grandmaster Cobb for Divine Child gets them up a quick two points over Royal Oak. Uh, State Champs Esports, we are brought to you by Lawrence Tech and Hungry Howie's Pizza. Whoa, three quick points for Divine Child. We've seen Royal Oak play this team two other times, and both times it was a pretty lopsided 3-0 win. Bruno, looks like it's going to be that way again once uh, today. Uh, yes, it is. Um, Royal Oak has been focusing. They've been playing Rocket League more, but they've been focusing on... Well, they've been focusing on different games like basketball and hockey, those game modes, which they need to be focusing on the regular soccer game mode. Well, I think they're just getting some time in, so anything's better than nothing, but I still don't think it'll be enough for them to uh, pull out a victory here. I think it's just really a matter of can they get some points on the board Dom scored. All right, it looks like Divine Child is spreading the love around. Uh, I believe all three of their team members have uh, gotten on the board. Let's see if Royal Oak can get some offense going here. Or at the very least, get some D just to kind of stop the bleeding here. Divine Child seems to be scoring pretty much at will. And right on cue, there's Dom again with his second goal of the day. Now, Divine Child did tie for second place in our uh, regular season rankings with Dakota. And Dakota played Clawson yesterday to advance. They will play the winner of this game. And there's Grandmaster with, I believe, his third goal. And our, our regular season champion, which was Detroit, or is Detroit Catholic Central, they got to buy this round of playoffs, and they are waiting to see who is going to win between uh, the two Rockford teams, which ended the regular season both tied at 3-3. Three and three. Well... It, do, it it does look like Divine Child's not even trying right now. They're well, just when you're trying to drain time. Yeah, when you're up six nothing uh, this early on, uh, I don't think there's a whole lot that they have to worry about as far as losing any of these three games. And uh, just in case viewers don't know, uh, we're playing best of five. Unless if so, uh, so the first first team to win three matches will will advance to the semifinals. Now out of since it's whoa Dom scored from way back. Very nice. Let's look at the replay here. He was about oh it looks like Grandmaster got a little hand on there. Or a bumper on there. If yeah, you will. he wouldn't be able to score that without Grandmaster. Yeah, they got the deflection. Now it's clear that Divine Child will be advancing. So, of Divine Child and Dakota, who do you think will be advancing to the finals? I mean, uh, yeah, advancing to the finals. Who's going to win between. We saw Dakota yesterday, they did a great job against Clausen. 
Alright, I'm gonna say Dakotas, because Divine Child and Claw, um, Divine Child has been playing Royal Oak rookie team, and they're obviously dominating them, like Clawson did. So, Dakotas is a really good team, so I think it's gonna beat Divine Child, because, um, what's the team again? Well, there's Divine uh, Child and Dakota. Because Dakotas is not a rookie team. Like Royal Dakota uh, won the uh, tournament last year, a Rocket League tournament. And so we'll see if Divine Child can get an upset here in our semifinal round and uh, take down Dakota. Whoa, Grand, Mas Grand Master Cobb just kind of, you know, inadvertently almost looked like he scored. <laughs> Oh, I see what happened. Royal Oak hit him. One of the Royal Oak team scored on their own goal. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies. Let's see if uh, we can put this game behind us. and The OG Rekid is not playing currently. Um, they're, For Royal Oak, Yeah, correct. they're the sub. She's the sub. Obviously, I picked that name. Best oh, name let's league. see. Oh, Grandmaster Cobb scored once again. Come on, Grandmaster. Let's see the replay. That was, again, from way back. He essentially passed the ball to himself and got a clear shot. Royal Oak uh, did not have any defenders back. Okay, let's see. Royal Oaks trying to put some last second pressure on, but nope. OPV bomb. Oh my gosh, that, that was a demon. That was a demon. All right. This. They brought it to the double digits. Huh? Look at that demon. Yeah, I don't, that's Divine Child has a demon. I don't know if that's uh, kosher for their uh, Catholic school there. Kind of edgy. Yeah. All right, less than 30 seconds. Let's see if Royal Oak can shut him down or if Divine Child's going to keep putting the pressure on. All right, Divine Child, you just... Oh, PP Bomb with another goal. Now they're just trolling Royal Oak at this point. Yeah, this is getting pretty ugly, folks. Boing, and then it just goes in. Yeah, this is going to be a great matchup to see Divine Child and Dakota. Never seen before, right? Go up against each other. I don't know if they've played this season yet, but it should be a terrific matchup. Or never seen before on the live stream. Yes, we have not streamed them uh, yet this year. Oh. <laughs> That All was right. funny. They were about to score. On them. They were about divine to child, score. Divine Child, the Divine Child actually set them up on a goal, and then they just were trolling them, so they just swooped in at the end to troll them. They, those guys are having fun. That's for sure. <laughs> well, they already knew they won. <sighs> okay. Now I'm curious to see uh, which of the two. Rockford team will advance to the semifinals. Royal Oak, I know, played Rockford 2, and the uh, the second team looked pretty impressive. So I think that's going to be a good matchup as well. Yeah. I don't know when they're, they're going to be playing yet. They but... said, um, they didn't say it exact time, but it's going to be tomorrow. We are setting that up currently. Okay, so yeah, we will stream uh, on Wednesday the... Two Rockford teams, so that should be uh, a, a lot better action. The teams are much more evenly matched, so uh, that will be a lot more exciting than uh, than this game or yesterday's between Clawson and Dakota. That was a another lopsided 3-0 shellacking. Oh. Dang it, Carl. Wasted no time. I love you, Carl. We talked about yesterday how fun the all the the names of the players are. and mm -hmm. like, uh, No like, exception here. Finish. Finish. Yeah. Finish. <laughs> no, you guys it's Fippish, I think it was. Oh, yeah, Fippish. 
What if that's even how you pronounce it. Yeah. Imagine it being Fipish. <gasps> Claw Girl! 12-10 from Royal Oak. Wow. They got on the board. She was wide open. A Grandmaster Cobb says calculated. <laughs> yeah, she obviously used a calculator to score that. Good job, Royal Oak. Nice shot. <laughs> oh, no, don't. Oh. Got some good D there. Well, it now it looks like, um. And now it looks like, uh, they're just defending Royal Oak's goal at this point. They're simping for Royal Oak. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, in these best of five matches, you always hope to see them go the full five. But that's clearly not going to happen today, so the... Maybe. They might the, be letting Royal Oak win. Look at them. Well, yeah, I guess that is a strategy to stretch it out a little bit, have some fun, knowing that they can pretty much score at will. So there's not really a chance If Royal Oak can losing. win one game, one game... Well, that would be their first win of the season. They have not won against any teams as of right now. <gasps> I didn't think it was going to change tonight, but... Uh, or maybe they're know. dragging it out to overtime. Hmm? That could be. So then they could just be like, whoever scores... Uh, that would that would be uh, taunting him even more. Letting him take it to overtime and then snatching victory away from him. Yeah, they o they almost got a goal right there, Ryloke. Look at that. Oh, you missed that. That sucks. We talked about that... Uh, and one of our other live streams is, yeah, that's kind of the rookie problem is just accuracy with ball handling and shooting. And how they just don't stop. They can stop when the ball's coming down so then they don't pass it. Like, Well, as their student coach, you're supposed to... I've been trying to teach them. They won't listen. Oh, all right. All right. They'll Ooh. do whatever they want. Now, probably if I was older than them, they would listen. I guess that's the problem with being younger than you're... Maybe you should be the coach. Yeah, I don't... Or just... I don't know enough about the, the yeah. game. There's this one guy who used to be on the stream. He wanted to... Um... Sexy Grape from Royal Oak gets their second goal of the night. Let's take a look at the replay. And now they're Dang winning. it, Carl kind of sets it up for her. Oh, I see. It was dang it, Carl that got the goal. Yeah. And not Sexy Grape. So, oh, I got excited for a moment there. It happened so fast. <laughs> Ooh, bless you. Oh, and now they just are taunting Royal Oak now. Yep, Grandmaster Cobb tied it up to make sure that... Uh, Unless if they, they get karma at the end, and then Royal Oak all of a sudden turns into a god team, and then in overtime yeah, they just destroy them. That is definitely not going to happen. Well, unless if Royal Oak just gets a lucky goal. They could get a strange bounce. Yep, we'll it's see. happened before. If you guys were watching the stream once, they got a buzzer. They got a... They scored on the it was a It was a buzzer beater for sure in one of their previous matches. But I don't think they're going to get so lucky today as to uh, maybe get a game-winning buzzer beater here. we still got two minutes left. Plenty of time for Our Devon sponsors. Child to score. Royal Oak. What? Let's check the replay. Let's I think, see. No, why I said Royal Oak is because they scored on themselves. Nobody. Oh, Royal Oak didn't even touch the ball, so they just <gasps> had to default it. But they're just letting Royal Oak win here. They're just taunting Royal Oak, actually. They're just having fun with the ladies. Boy. Oh, no. If you, uh, <gasps> if you go to our... Our YouTube channel, State Champs Net, you can see uh, on last Aww. week's episode, OPP Bomb scored for Divine Child. On last week's State Champs Esports show, we profiled the Royal Oak team, got to see them practicing, and uh, interviewed the team members. So you can go check that out. 
Hopefully we'll be uh, getting some more profiles here of some of the other teams. And Grandmaster Cobb again with a big goal for Divine Child, pushing them back into the lead. Oh, and Claw Girl missed that one. If she just stayed still, she could have jumped and got it. <sighs> she was right there. there. She was in the right spot. Just her timing was off just a little bit. I wish they would let listen to me. It would be great. Anyways, let's see what uh, Divine Child can do. Ooh. Is Divine Child going to let them score again? Probably not. Being that it's that close to the end of the game, why risk anything? There we go, Grandmaster Cobb. Boy, look, you were doing so with, good. With, I think, though. his third goal of the match. Royal Oak was doing so good, even though they, um... Okay, no one can shows. see your air quotes there, Bruno. You have to, <laughs> you have to say, quote-unquote, so good. Bunny ears. Yeah, air quotes is what they're technically called. All right, less than a minute in <gasps> match number two. Great striker scores. So I think that's one. <laughs> what I say, what I say, what I say. I think that's one point for each of the Royal Oak team members. <laughs> Carl is just, oh my, they're spamming. What I say, what I say. Dang it, Carl. Gotta love these names. <laughs> OPP bomb. Dang it, Carl. Oh no. Gets that, gets that point right back in just a matter of seconds. They do have 49 seconds left. If they could score two goals, that'd be a miracle. That would be an interesting challenge. How many points can they score in 49 seconds? I bet you they can score zero. Divine Child now. They could score tons in that time. <gasps> Royal Oak, on the other hand. Mm. Okay, there it is. OPP bomb. Yeah, Roy Oak. That's <laughs> one goal in 49 seconds. Let's keep it a quick tally here. See how many All right. under a minute. So technically, under a minute goals, they've already got two. Yeah, so two, one. All right. Let's see if they want to rack it up. Maybe Roy Oak, they'll let Roy Oak score. Who knows? All right, 30 seconds. Can they get any last-minute points here? If Royal Oak can win a game, I would jump off my chair and scream. I think we all would. That all of your eardrums would break. <laughs> OPP bomb! That's three in a minute. Okay, so can they get... They've got 11 seconds. Do you think they got another point in them before the game ends? World record for that is 11 goals. In you 11 keep telling seconds. me that. I am skeptical. We'll have to. You'll have to show me that. All right. Just because that seems like an awful lot of points. Mm -hmm. Whoa, Royal Oak did a little uh, maneuvering there. Boing. To no <laughs> avail. Oh. Almost. Well, anyways, that was game. Not not the full game, but... All right, match number two, of course, goes the Divine Child. We've got one more here, as we mentioned. It's best three out of five. What do you think? Do you think Rollo can win a game? No, and I think la like <laughs> yesterday with uh, Clausen, it's really not a matter of are they going to win, but... Can they stay competitive? Can they keep the score down to a reasonable amount? Can they get some points on the board? So that's really uh, what I hope for Royal Oak is that they can uh, get some scores, keep Divine Chow from, you know, running up too high of a tally. So we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. I love how you just say, no. <laughs> well, they haven't. Royal Oak hasn't won a game yet. They're not going to win against uh, second place. Yeah, and Divine this is Royal team. Oak's last game, full game of the season. So they, we won't see you till next year. They will be. I was going to say, what's the opposite of undefeated? They will be defeated, <laughs> winless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, I won't be seeing you guys for a year. Until next season. Well, you can help me uh, announce some of these matches here if you'd like. 
Well, I will be finishing off the Rocket League thing, but I won't be uh, uh finish or I won't be here once it ends. Yes, because we'll be after the Rocket League uh, season ends. We're gonna do Overwatch in January. So if you've got an Overwatch team and you want to sign up, uh, we've got some information on our website, website statechampsesports.net. The registration form is not up as of yet, but should be any day. So uh, check out our website and sign up your team. And then after Overwatch, we are going to have our League of Legends tournament, and that will run throughout March and April. And then in the, during the summer, we're going to do a series of week-long competitions so we're gonna do Fortnite and Super Smash Brothers, and oh, if you're doing Fortnite, I'll I'll be in that. Yep, and then uh, I already have my maybe new Valorant. You know, so we'll we're gonna just do a bunch of games over the summer. So we'll keep everybody informed as to uh, what's coming down the line. But just to give you a little taste here. Now we're in this third, and I'm assuming final match. No score yet. Oh. What are you doing? I spoke too soon. <laughs> that was not Sexy Grape that, that was, scored that one. That was Dom, I think. Well, let's see. Replay. Grandmaster Cobb? Or no, it was Dom. Okay, Dom squeaked in at the last second to <laughs> Dom's like, it in. Dom's like, if you're going to score, let me. Yep, they were uh, practically fighting over who was going to score on their own goal. And Royal Oak, oh, great I do. Striker. If, they, if they can win a game, I'm going to jump off my chair. Now, that was an actual goal. goal on them. Now, I think Divine Child looks like they purposely missed that face-off. No, but I know, I know their gameplay. They weren't trying to miss. They probably just, like, moved because it's hard to do the controls on the keyboard because you're not going to – got to hold down the keys for so long. Well, it looks like Divine Child have given themselves a little bit of a deficit trying to make it more oh, interesting. Oh, my gosh. Come on, All right. just win a game. Grandmaster Cobb gets Divine Child on the board for the third and final match. Come on. Oh, my gosh. It looks like uh, they're going to be catching up rather quickly here. If Royal Oak doesn't win this game, I'm going to cry. Oh, no. oh, good defense by Royal Oak. Let's go. I know I sounded surprised because uh, defense has not been the strong point. <laughs> yeah, you are so right. Boing. Oh, 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 Dom just saved that. <laughs> I feel like Dom's the biggest simp out of all of these guys. <laughs> first, Dom scored their first goal. Dom let them score their second goal, and Dom just saved them. Dom is a, a double agent working for Royal Oak, it appears. He's I like, think he feels bad for him. He's taking pity on the Royal he's Oak He's like team. good cop and bad cop here. He scores on them, but then he doesn't score. See, look. I just heard my sister from upstairs go, come on. Okay, Dom redeemed himself and has tied up the game for Divine Child. Dom is finally a bad cop. He's scoring on both ends of the of the arena. Come on, Royal, you got this. I know you. Segzy Grape with, I believe, her second goal of the night. Let's check out the replay. <laughs> Dang it, Carl. Sorry, because he missed by that much. Carl. That was a... a, that <laughs> a was Grandmaster nice. Cobb and Carl. What a save, what a save, what a save. <laughs> the Divine Child's just having fun at this point. Whoa, that was from way back. I thought that was going in for sure. Uh, 
like Royal Oak is I'm sweating right trying now. Trying to get into striking distance. But Dom's right there to clear it. Nope. Grandmaster Cobb is simping for Royal Oak once again. Not Dom again. Dom Ooh. saw Grandmaster Cobb simping, so he's like, now I gotta simp. All right, Grandmaster Cobb ties it up. Well, that's not fair. Oh, come on, Royal Oak. Maybe they're gaining both teams up, so then they could just beat Royal Oak right there. Or they could just let Royal Oak win. I think the, I think they're going to put it away right here. We're coming close to a minute. Maybe. I think Divine Child's going to... Oh, yeah. Yep, they're closing it up. There's Dom once again. Scoring all the points, it seems like, on both ends of the stadium here for Royal Oak and Divine Child. Royal Oak will be practicing since today's their last game. They will be practicing for the year that they have. So when they come back, they might be really good. They are only sophomores on the team right now for Royal Oak, so they've still got two more years that they can compete in our tournament. So they'll definitely be back. Oh, my gosh, I'm sweating. All right, less than a minute to go. Royal Oak needs a miracle. Or some help from Divine Child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Divine Child scored for them, which is the The point greatest. went to Great Striker. Let's see who actually scored that. Pretty sure it was Dom, because Dom is... <laughs> yep, Dom guided... Oh, no. oh Grandmaster Cobb! Oh, dang it, Carl. What is he? What is he? Now, this is just cruel. They're taunting him with a chance of a victory here. No! Dang it, Carl! <laughs> Dang you, Carl! He was not about to let this one go into overtime. No, he was like, he's the one that's just like hard cold, hard, cold blooded. Like, he's like, no. Well, hey, he wants to win. He's got to do what he's got to do. Or he just wants the game to end faster. He's like, I got better things to do here. Oh, that was nice. Grandmaster Cobb got right, the Grand perfect Cobb. angle on that one. That was impressive. Grand I didn't Master think that Cobb was going in, in, but he just has that perfect touch. Yeah, Grandmaster Cobb right just ended the game right there. And Royal Oak was nowhere to be seen on defense. Oh, my gosh. All right, less than 30 seconds left here. Let's put a fork in it. I'd say Royal Oak has been oh, gone for a oh, while. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Did they block themselves? I Dang it, Carl blocked. His own team, huh? Yeah, they're hard, he's hard-colded. Hard he, he's what? <laughs> <laughs> he's hard-colded. <laughs> Sexy Grape supposedly got a last-second goal. Wait, Let's if, see who this actually belongs to. If they can get to. their last-second goal and drag it to overtime, I'm going to jump off my Oh, computer. I didn't see who knocked that in there. I know it wasn't Sexy Grape. No, it was Sexy Grape. It was? I pr yeah. We'll have to watch the, the replay. <gasps> oh, my gosh, Dom, you cold-blooded set of gun. Oh, dang it, oh, Carl! Oh, Let's go! Oh, no. That was nice. Freak. Dang it, Carol rolled the ball right up onto the roof. Dom? Extending the clock out. Okay, Divine Child sweeps Royal Oak three games to nothing. I didn't expect otherwise. I, I was pretty sure that's how it was going to end, but uh, had fun anyway. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll have Rockford 1 and 2 on Wednesday for you. And for Denver, Bruno, everybody at State Champs Esports, thanks for watching. Thanks to our sponsors, Lawrence Tech and Hungry Howies. Looks like semifinal one will be Dakota versus Divine Child. Should be a great matchup.